This is Amy Keating. She's a nutritionist here at Consumer Hi, Reports. How are, how are you? Good, how are you? This is a beautiful and very know, colorful looking incredible. table. You know what, I just bought my own smoothie at the store and I can't wait to drink it. Well, a lot of people buy smoothies because they think they're healthy, but they actually could pack a lot of calories, sugar, and sometimes even sodium. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put this yeah. to the side. Yeah, so let's make some of our own. You wanna put on that apron? There's three things I want you to take away yes. about smoothies. There's pairings. Pairings. Texture and not being wasteful in the kitchen. So here's some beets. Do you like beets? Mm, not so much. Oh, they get such a bad rap. <laughs> They're filled with nutrients and antioxidants, some mm -hmm. of which develop this really great deep red color. You can mellow that beet flavor out with strawberry and banana. It's a very popular uh, smoothie base, and the colors, it'll be more vibrant. It'll I be like great. the strawberries and banana. That's a great uh, combination. Amy says other good pairings include spinach and blueberries or kale and pineapple. Now for Amy's second smoothie takeaway, texture. It's a smoothie, so mm -hmm. people think of them as thick. We have avocado. Avocado. Great monounsaturated fat. We have nut butter. You could use cashew, ah. almond, peanut butter. We have Greek yogurt, which adds thickness. Now I saw this. You can toss a handful of oats into the bottom of the blender when it's still dry, pulse it a few times and pulverize, and then add the rest of your ingredients, and that'll help fill you up and add a whole grain to your smoothie. And that brings us to Amy's third smoothie takeaway. We don't want to be wasteful in the kitchen, so I have something I want to show you in the freezer. Amy says freezing leftover fruit and veggies is a good way to keep them for smoothies and reduce food waste. Okay. Okay, so you ready to make some smoothies? I am ready. Great. I'm going to have you make the lean green dream. Okay. okay. The first thing you're going to add are these pre-soaked chia seeds, okay? And we're making this for two servings, so that was two tablespoons of chia and a half a cup of almond milk. Now you're going to add four cups of chopped kale. All so you right. take both those bowls. Okay, here we go. Okay. okay, and one and a half cups of chopped pineapple. Okay, here we go. That yep. seems like a lot of pineapple. And a cup of plain Greek yogurt, not All right, fat. So that would be this. Yep. Okay, so now time for yours, right? Yes, I'm going to do the strawberry banana beet. This, this seems one, really interesting. Isn't it? Yeah, we're going to add, again, for two servings, a cup of chopped beets. Chopped Those are beets. cooked so that it has a really nice, smooth texture. Two cups of chopped strawberries. Love those strawberries. One cup of milk. You can use your milk of choice. One banana. Mm hmm. Oh, man, we're really doing this. And you know this, what? It doesn't matter that this is a little bruised. You know, again, we don't want to be wasteful. That's right. You're not going to notice that. that at all in a smoothie. And then the And two tablespoons of almond nut. butter for a little protein, oh. trying to sustain you. Okay. You tell me when. Okay, you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Nice. Yeah. Okay, I think we're good. Why don't we get some glasses? Okay, sure. Okay, ready for the Cheers. taste test? Cheers. Here we go. Mmm, so good. Wow, this is good. This has beets in it, too. Yeah. Look at that. that. Beets and strawberries. I like that. So, Jack, if you have the time and a really great blender, it's not only good for your health, but it also tastes good to make a smoothie at home. Speaking of health. Cheers. To yours. Cheers.